Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're mm -hmm. going to be going over all of the footage that we took from starting the process of DIY renovating our home mm -hmm. to getting it up on Airbnb. There's like a lot of new people that are watching our channel and we figured it might be cool to kind of like go through everything we did to the house from buying it to fixing it up and kind of like talk you through the process. But yeah. I think that it might be good to get catch us up to like where we are now. I haven't seen everything that we've done to our short-term rental. We DIY'd like a lot of it and saved so much money doing it. And also you'll see, we just sweated our butts off. So <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So this was the first day that we got the house, right? This was like move-in day. Yeah, not mo yeah, move-in day. This is our photo shoot when we got the house because we were so excited. <laughs> oh, I wanted to get a jumping picture. That's why yeah. I did that. I think this was my favorite sunset. We've not had a We've sunset. We've not had a sunset like this. They're Since. great. But this sunset was insane. We were like, damn, girl, you're showing off. Look at that. It went all the way 360 around the sky. I probably just said, look at that right then. Yeah, you did. So beautiful. I remember being terrified to sleep on the floor and then bugs would like crawl onto the bed. Oh yeah. We had like summer bugs. Yeah. And that was scary. Mind you, when we, you see the air conditioning unit right there, this house only had a swamp cooler. So this was July 2nd, 2021. So we were in the middle of summer when we started working on the house. And this was the only AC in the house and it's a swamp cooler and it really doesn't work once it goes over like 105 yeah. or something like that. So you notice throughout the first part of us renovating that we tried using this, but then we used like the window unit. We had two pumping at yeah. all times. Luckily a friend, two friends gave us their old AC units. Thank yeah. God, because those saved us throughout the summer working on the house. Okay, the first thing that we did was the popcorn ceilings because we knew we wanted to make it look more modern in the house. We knew this was gonna take up the most time. And it felt dated with the popcorn ceilings. So we Googled, we YouTubed how to do this. Joint compound, if I never had to look at it again, it would be too soon. Yeah. But that is what we did. We used joint compound, a little bit of water, and we uh, skim coated. Yeah, so ceiling, right? we got a quote to do this and it, it was it was expensive. It was between four and seven and that was money that we wanted to spend on other things. AC units. And so we decided to do it ourselves. It was I, the worst neck pain I've ever had in my whole life. I've never had any pain like that. Yeah. Till we did this. Like, and I, yeah, and I remember at the end of this day <laughs> thinking like, really? what did we get ourselves into? Like. I was so overwhelmed and exhausted by the end of this day. And we only did one room. By the end of every day. But well, no, yeah. yeah. And I don't know, you kept a, a straight face. You well, did. Yeah. Well, we were financially invested. I had to. And the owls came to visit us. This is our second, I think this is like our second night. Two big owls. I've never seen an owl in person besides at a zoo. Yeah. They flew up right behind us. And that was really cool. Being able to see like the wildlife of California being out in the desert has yeah. been magical. Yeah. We made to-do lists like all the time and started checking them off. That was really helpful. Yeah. Had to have some fin content. Yeah, Th yeah we've, this is the first time we brought him to the house. <laughs> We're like, welcome home. It's not your house that you live in, but Yeah, it's fine. he hated it at the beginning, but he's learned to love it now. It's because we were working so much. Yeah, we were doing so much construction that he really didn't like it. I don't know what it was. Like, it, was it the caffeine? What had us going? I guess it must have been financially. We were like, we have three months to get this up and running. Let's freaking go. Yeah. We were excited. Okay, then we sanded. Yeah, that was silly. We should have put stuff down on the ground before we did that. There's dust everywhere. Yeah, so that's after one coat in sanding, mm -hmm. I want to say. Or maybe that's two coats. It looks wet. Oh, and then we started ripping out the... 
Oh yeah, we had closets. We took the closet off. This was all in one day. This was like you. the second day, yeah. We did like five or six projects in one day. Yeah. Yeah. Who are those people? And then we took the track of this, the thing out of the closet. You're just like my dad. No, why? We are cut, we're not cutting this. <laughs> my outfit. <laughs> this is the reality of renovations. Yeah. All right, another day, another room. The I did not want to do this. Same. I didn't know we did this so quickly after the room one. Yeah. We like tested it out in room one and then we went and did the living room. I think we divided it in half. So in one day we were like, okay, let's do half. Yeah. I think if I remember correctly. I think so too, because our next couldn't but This room it. took forever. Oh, maybe we did it all in one day. I feel like we tried to power through. Yeah. I don't know. I would get off work or like have a lunch break and oh. start doing this. Real quick, so this hole in the, it wasn't for the attic. It was like a weird thing that my dad was trying to figure out how to patch random things that you'll find when you buy a house. 760 coffee, love that. Kept us afloat all summer long. Then we decided to take out the cabinets. I was like, let's get these things down. Let's start demoing everything. I think I started demoing the kitchen while you were finishing up the first skim coat on the ceiling. And then we learned that they painted the back walls of the cabinets brown to make it look like wood. Yeah. And we thought that was hilarious. Okay, so there's the bad patch job that my dad started to pull apart and so that we could repatch it. And we didn't film him that often at first when yeah. like, I don't think he really understood what we were doing. Yeah. So like we'd film little moments so you don't see some of the stuff that he is actually doing and he filled that hole in for us. And then we started taking out the... Rain shed. Yeah. This, I don't even think this thing worked. And I'm pretty sure it was painted. Yeah, it was painted over. It was green in the back and she had like spray painted it white. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I forgot about that. What? So many things. And then there was just lots of weird paint on the wall. Yeah, see you were you kept going yeah. on the skim coat while I started to do the kitchen demo. It was like one of us couldn't handle doing the next situation. So like the other one would be like, screw it, I'll power through it. Well, we tag teamed it so we could get it. We thought it'd be faster. And then my dad patched the thing in the the hole in the ceiling in the hallway. I was like, what are we gonna do with that? How are we gonna yeah. hide that? I went over it. Yeah, and so we skim coated over that. Here's Kristen working her butt off. Yeah, all working full And time. then she finished it, yeah. Yeah, so this is July 10th, this is 10 days. And we would come on the weekends, remember? Yeah. Yeah. This is Kyle and Nina. They came and helped us so much. I think from my perspective, it was really nice having them there. Yeah. It, it felt so daunting. Like we were 10 days in and it was just like, oh my God. And yeah. they helped it be fun. There's the hole all done. And so it this took a while, that took a while to get it to look nice again. We started sanding the ceiling and Kyle was like, oh, let me help. And so. We sanded it and then wiped it down so we could put another layer on it. Here's Kenley, their daughter being really cute. <laughs> and Finn caught it. And Finn, yeah, of course. And here's where we, we were living in the bar room because the bedrooms were a disaster and that's Kristen's office. Oh my God, I would take Zoom calls yeah. and the cactus towel behind me was like my backdrop. My mom loved coming and helping painting. The black took, I think, two coats of kills. Yeah and then regular paint on top of it. Mm -hmm. And then we tried starting the sanding of the paint. Oh my gosh, guys, this was the worst thing ever. <laughs> Michael did this project solely on his own. I really wanted the un like the raw concrete to and then polished. Yeah. And so I was determined to get it done. <laughs> and it took me a couple different tries to get it right. Hand lights! Yeah, but here's some pictures of before. And then he built it and he framed it out and put the electrical in place. And then we patched it. See there, he's a happy guy. I was so excited. Yeah. We didn't film a lot of stuff that your dad did because we felt kind of weird filming him sometimes. Yeah, but he and, th and then we him. kept working on the bedroom. And you There's a butt. <laughs> of course, that's me filming. Ooh, this is his second coat in the last bedroom. Oh my God. Yeah, see, it looks so much better. This The room is painted now. The Yeah, she was painting, she was painting. regular paint. 
Oh, it's so nice. So Your much parents better. helped us so much. And then my dad, so the light wasn't centered above the sink. And so my dad cut up open a hole and then so we moved that light over to be centered over the sink. Yeah. And then we used the plastic to kind of like section it off so we wouldn't get other places dirty. Yeah, because he'd start sanding and stuff and we wanted to keep it all yeah. in one place. But like, look at guys, like we had to, we had sheets on the windows. Like it looked like a crack house from the <laughs> from outside. From the outside. Yeah, because like there was sheets and stuff on the windows and we put towels over the windows because it was so bright. We, we couldn't afford to get the blinds, the blinds yet. yet. Yeah. So yeah, we were weekend warrioring this at this point. We were coming in on the weekends and we would go like Thursday or Friday through Sunday. Because we had to work. Yeah. So here's you patching up the ceiling. Yep. We just wanted to make the ceilings all match. This is our daily attire. Everyone was like, look at you guys in your uniforms. You guys look like twins. We had one more round of sanding to do on the ceilings. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah so you were scraping nice. ahead of me while I was sanding because we were determined to make the ceilings look nice. We didn't want them to look like we did them. And I think that if you look at them in person, you're like, wow. They look good. A professional probably did this. Yeah, like after this, I was looking at everyone's ceilings. Yeah, we started looking Comparing. at everything. <laughs> YouTube University over here. We had just finished the ceilings here and I was covered in it. Yeah. And then we had to vacuum up. And I think this is one of the most satisfying videos that we parts of the video that we've ever done is us vacuuming up All the dust the from dust. the ceiling. Look at how satisfying this is. Okay, and then, so I realized after looking online that you could rent a concrete Grinder? Grind, yeah, it was like a grinder, a paint grinder for a floors. And so this took some learning. You'll see <laughs> my dad and I trying to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. And then my dad finally figured it out. And it was so freaking messy, guys. It was, the floors were the, I think the worst part of this because once we scraped off all of the floors, then Kristen and I had to clean it. Look at how dirty this was. It was like a layer of mud. I do not suggest doing it this way. I, if there's a better way to do it, don't do not do what we did, because look at this. And it shot on the walls that we had just painted. <laughs> yeah, and then so we had to mop it like four times, and then I actually had to go through with a hand grinder and, and get like a layer of film off of it in order for it to actually be the raw concrete. started prepping here because we sanded the ceilings but we hadn't painted them yet and I didn't want to get any paint on the floor so oh okay yeah 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 I think we put a coat of primer on first no or is it it's one it's thing it's just one it's the ceiling flash so my mom and I split that work I thought she helped and, and then my mom's friend gave us a bunch of um, aloes and agaves that's one that, thing if you are starting whatever if you're buying a home and you want a landscape Ask friends for pups of things that you want if they're yeah. succulent or you know drought resistant plants. But if you have the budget to get mature landscaping, go for it because we did not. Okay, and this is where I learned how easy it was for can lights to be put in. Literally, it, there's like a little clamp on the back and then you plug them in, it's so easy once the thing is in place. This was so exciting. Yeah. Look at us. We're excited for our can lights. <laughs> it's the little things, guys. We took a trip to Mexico. Watching this, I'm like, can we go back? <laughs> yeah, oh, we got glasses for the house there. Yeah, we still have them. Mm -hmm. Nothing's happened to them, knock on wood. Haven't been on a vacation since. No, we haven't. Okay, so this was where I left the floors, and I was like, <sighs> I was like, I'm gonna have to go through and hand grind them all again because there was like a film still on it. This is the singing room. Ouch. Wow, we really should do a cappella grip. So yeah, this is what I had to do. I had to go through and like 
Did you get the hand, edges? Hand grind the, yeah, I, I went back and did the edges. Okay, and then we got started, well, I got started on the cabinets while he was grinding. The, these cabinets were for sure original, like oh, 70s. Oh yeah, these are the original 70s cabinets. There was so much shit in them, it was so gross. I TSP'd everything, wiped them all down fixed up some of the wood with some wood putty because there were some chips here and there and then Michael demoed the tile, all of the tile. It was cement, it was a lot. Yeah, we had to get the tile off so that we could paint the cabinets. There was no way we were getting new cabinets. This was so messy. We did save some of those tiles because some of them were hand painted. Yeah, we didn't get rid of any of the hand painted ones if you yeah. saw us demoing those. We still have them. And that sink weighed 5,000 pounds. It was like it's a, a cast iron sink. 200 pound sink, it was insane. And I was prepping to get the cabinets ready for paint. And while you were doing that, I remember this, while you were doing that, my dad and I decided to take the swamp cooler off the front of the house because it looked so bad. So we pulled it off and then there was a giant hole in our house. But the reason that we had to do it so quickly Oh, and then, and then we came inside. See, this is how fast we were accomplishing things. All the time. Like we took the sink out Ooh. and we patched the hole because we were having the house painted like the next oh, day. Oh yeah. And so we had to get the hole painted, a hole patched in front of the house with stucco. Yeah. So that the painters could paint it and it would look nice. That's what it was. Yeah. And meanwhile, I was just sanding my life away. Today's the day of the house getting power out. Yeah, see, see the, the stucco? The stucco patch. <laughs> Yeah. And they had to come and they power washed the entire house. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and then we weren't there while they were painting, but, but we, we, stuck our we stuck the security camera in the bush so we could look at the color and make sure it was fine. And then, I think he knew too. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know. But this I, is the oh. first time pulling up to the house. I love the black, I love the white. The orange, I was like, we just spent three grand on this orange door yeah. oh my god and then here's m more of me hand grinding the concrete down the film to the raw concrete i this. love that you can see it like yeah but this took so long you guys like i would be working on something and he would come in here and he'd be in here for hours and i was so happy when this was done it's so crazy how different it looked it was a lot lighter yeah how did you get the corners i took the guard off and it was just the raw blade scary. Yeah, it was pretty scary. This was my setup for the cabinets in the garage. I thought it was pretty great. Uh, we used the satin enamel trim. It was for cabinets paint uh, from Bear. And we so, bought a paint gun. Yes, our Amazon paint gun was amazing. Used it so many times. We'll probably use it in the future too. So I definitely suggest this. It is in the Amazon favorites in our description. They dried so quickly because it was hot AF out there. Then I had to hand paint part of them, which took a while, but. Oh, the track, you hand painted the tracks? I did. Is that what they're called, the tracks? Well, just like the inside part of the cabinet. Cause yeah. you didn't want to spray the entire cabinet? No, and I should have. Somebody was like, why didn't you spray it yeah, all? Yeah, you should have like, sprayed it all. I don't know why I didn't, to be honest. <laughs> I just thought that's how you would do it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, this was scary to me, this part, because I was like, sh these I could, I don't know, could take off and figure out, but the stuff that was stuck inside, that made me nervous. Okay, then we started sealing the concrete. Again, you can see my patches in the concrete because there, there were holes, uh, yeah. Yeah, but now, yeah, you can't yeah. really tell now. So you just, you just kind of spray it on, spread it out, and let it dry, and then we did two coats of that. And then this was the other room. We didn't know what to do with our Wi-Fi because if you unplug it, it's a whole thing. So we yeah. were waiting on that room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is the second coat. And you can see the patchwork is like blending in pretty nicely. So yeah, and it's all, under, it's all under rugs and stuff, so you can't really see it when the bed's in there. And then we got started on sanding the walls in the kitchen so that we could prime. We did one, I think we did one thing of kills. And that, because that stain was like a wood stain and it was pretty gnarly, you can see it through the kills. Yeah. So we had to do all that prep and it was hot in the house, so. Yeah. It's worth the problem. And then we painted. Yeah. And it, th I think this is when I started getting, this was like the point I started getting excited. Yeah. Because I could see like the potential, I think. Things were coming together slowly. Yeah. It was either this or when we put the countertops on that I was like, 
Oh, yeah. Okay, this is exciting. It was the countertops for me. Was it? We'll get there. I know. I don't miss living in that. That was the worst part, I think. Yeah, that was not fun. Oh, so excited to put the hardware on. We wanted to modernize it. Finn would find any patch of sun he could. And then we got these handles, these door handles off of Amazon. And basically we made a guide out of cardboard and then poked holes in the cardboard and then put them on the corner of every handle or of every door. So they would all be spaced the exact same. Um, but these were pretty easy. The, the wood was pretty thin. I remember this was like all one day, like that the painting the cabinets, hours. everything. Like I was exhausted at the end of this day. But we wanted to finish the kitchen. So mm -hmm. we made sure to do the handles with them. There's me being immature. Yeah. Oh, and the Ford. Yeah. Found on road dead. Yeah. Multiple times. If you followed our channels at the beginning. My car battery kept dying on us. Oh and my that was God. a fun part of it. I think this day we were trying to go apply for the permit. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. And then we couldn't. So we just stayed and put in our butcher block. Yes. So this is the butcher block we got from Ikea. Um, it's been over a year now and it's still holding up pretty well. So mm -hmm. shout out to Ikea if you need butcher block. Um, it's probably not the best quality, but it was very cost effective yeah. for what we needed. And yeah, I would say this is when we started getting excited. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing it all come together. Geek. But this is when but... I started learning electricity. Like I started actually like learning wiring and stuff from my dad. Oh, and if anybody follows Jungalo, I had this like dream of a Jungalo kitchen in the desert with green tile, bought it all and it made the room too dark. Yeah. It was so depressing. Oh, and then my car started again. And then we it got died. my car jumped, and then we drove it mm. down the hill. And I bought a jump starter from Harbor Freight and Tool, <laughs> and my car died in the parking lot of Harbor Freight and Tool. And I had to use the jumper to get the car back to the house. And it was 115 degrees. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this it was, was horrible. This was horrible. We had a bunch of rugs from our own house that we were going to use. So once the bedroom, the bedrooms are finally ready, so we were ready to move out of the bar room. <laughs> and put a bed in the bedroom. When we put the rugs in too, I was like, yay! Yeah. Both the floors were done in those scenes, by the way. Yeah. Put together our bed frame. Yep. It started to feel like our own. Having a place to sleep was amazing. Yeah. And then we cleaned up our old bedroom, which was the bar room, so that we could work on it. And then back to La Quinta. Yeah, so this, I think at this point, we were still doing it all over the weekend and we were just exhausted by the time Sunday, Monday hit. Was it because we were working? Yeah. Yeah. And then my dad started building the vanity because yeah. he wanted to build the vanity for us. He did a custom vanity for us, which was awesome. And then baseboards. Oh yeah, we bought baseboards at Home Depot. We just, we didn't buy actual baseboards. We bought like wood trim because we wanted it to be a certain color. And now that we look back at this footage. Would have done something different. Yeah. <laughs> This is where we got our Moroccan tile. It's a place in North Hollywood called Badia Design. This is all hand cut Moroccan tile. After we saw the green in there, we wanted to come back and actually pick up the white tile. White tile. So we, we swapped that out. They were great. And yeah. they are actually the company that provided Jungalo with Justina Blakely with uh, her tile for her yeah. kitchen. So this is the tile that we ended up going with. And then we started looking through their rugs and. <laughs> We Very ended, expensive. We ended up buying one. Which is in the house, which we need to take back. Beautiful though. Oh, and then we got back to the house and we opened up our king mattress and realized that Amazon sent us a queen bed frame. In, for, yeah, in the king box. On accident. So was, you can see the bed hanging over the side. We were pretty mad about that. It was like that for weeks. And then my dad and I started cutting the Ikea butcher block for the other side of the cabinets. And then with the Ikea butcher block, they have that little trim piece that goes on the edges so it looks like it's one piece. And there were so many holes in the bar room, you guys. I had to go, all those patches are from like holes all over the room that I had patched in clips that we didn't yeah. put in here. Here's my mom crushing the painting. Yeah, so we nice. We secured the countertops in, in this one day we secured the countertops, we cut out the hole for the sink. Mm -hmm. Installed the sink. And we had to align all the holes and everything and figure out what, how it was gonna connect. And like, it almost didn't work. Oh my gosh, can I just pause this right Wait, here? Wait, why didn't it work? Can I just pause this right here? If we scroll back just a little bit, you can see 
the see the see the kitchen faucet down below uh -huh. so these shutoff valves didn't work and so my dad and i instead of because we didn't have time to run down to the store to get new kit new valves to turn the water all the way off we just re attach the kitchen sink down below close the handles on it it's funny keep an eye out because this kitchen sink faucet comes back <laughs> when we redo the bathroom <laughs> yeah but yeah then we put the adhesive around it and we set the stainless steel sink in and you have to attach it up underneath i was so proud of you because this i mean this is the first time you've done anything uh, like this and then we connected the new the new faucet i think what's not included here is we did put new um, hat quarter turn valves uh, underneath the sink. Um, I don't think we filmed that because we were trying to get as much done as possible. And our tile came in. Yes. Or we picked it up that day, but yeah, the yeah. tile, we were putting it all together. Got more baseboards at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. And then you started on that project. I sanded them. I sanded them first so that the stain, w I, I read some stuff about stain and if you sand the wood, it makes it easier to stain. Wish we would have gone with a different stain now yeah. looking back at this because the stain ended up being a little or more orange than we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. But it's still okay. cool. Yeah. Then I just went around and applied them to all the baseboards. Yeah. And it's a pretty easy fix. Like if we ever decide to change the yeah. amount, right? It's yeah. Isn't that hard? It's kind of expensive. I think it was like two, three hundred dollars for all this wood. Oh, and then I cut a hole open in the front of our house. The previous owner had the dryer venting just in the garage, which is fine, but like it wasn't up to code and we were like, this isn't gonna fly. Yeah. So we had to put a dryer vent and I had to run it through the <laughs> <laughs> through the tool bench. But it works, it yeah. works great. AC guys came that day. This was a big day for us because it was so hot. And we were so excited to get AC units in the house. We were like, and I'm working Kristen, full time while yeah. they're putting they're in the drilling AC units. And putting the AC units in. <laughs> Your mom's painting. Like, my yeah. dad started patching the hole in the wall. This was one of three or four lights that you made me try we and put We bought up. five lights for the kitchen. Yeah. And could not decide. This one which was one? that one was too farmhousey. Then we tried putting up the range hood. And this is Surprise! when Surprise! This what is, the so this is when we realized that the oh hole was not God. centered above the oven. We were so, we were freaking out. And the cabinet, see look, it was even like too far ahead. Oh my God. Ahead. The cabinets covered this hole, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And then we got this really cool light from India, I believe. Yeah, that I Etsy. installed. We got it from Etsy and then I installed it above the kitchen sink so that you'd have that direct, my dad, this is the light socket that my dad moved over mm -hmm. for us. Looks so nice. And you can change the um, height. Yeah. It was really long. You can, and set, we, you can set the height. We shortened it. Yeah, very cool. I was so proud of you. Look at you go. Look at the sink and everything. It's like coming together. Our we, first night of AC. The hole is patched. Oh my God. Best day ever. Yeah, that was a good night. But you can kind of see now we made some progress. I believe, I don't know what date we're at here. I think we're in August. We're in August, yeah. We had crazy summer monsoons. We were just exhausted by this point. And emaciated. We looked so <laughs> small. We were just sweating all day. All, any kind of fat we had on us, sweat out. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Here we both work, working, yep. trying to work. Desk mates. And then we went and put these in the bedrooms. These, they're like brass plated um, outlets. Yeah, we really the like bedrooms. the antique look. I think we were retiring the AC yeah, unit. Yeah, the AC units went bye bye. And we tried making a bench out of this, but we didn't end up leaving it there. And then there was a brick missing on the front of the fireplace that yeah. I had to patch. I had to put a new brick in and repair that. And you started cleaning the bricks to paint. Yeah, because we were deciding what what paint we were gonna use. The bricks on the left, you can see kind of some paint, but the the paint on the stove was really messed up. So I had to sand that Yeah. and clean it up. And then this was the bane of my existence, you guys. Yeah, but Kristen crushed this. She just took it upon herself to like really make this fireplace awesome.
while she was doing that, like I was like focused on these, the tiling in the kitchen, like how we were gonna do it. Where we wanted the shelving. Yeah, we had to put spacers on the, on the switches. We had to pop them out too, because mm -hmm. the tile was so thick. And this tile, you have to like dip it in water before you place it on. So there was like a hole we had to... Yeah, so we used uh, hand cut Moroccan Zellige tiles and they are one of the hardest tiles to do. <laughs> and there's not very many tutorials online for no. them. We used spacers, we used the smallest spacers we could and we only did that to give ourselves some wiggle room. Um, this is me learning how to use a tile saw and cutting out little notches for the outlet we had done none of this prior. Yeah, we had not, none of this prior. No. But I did it and I was so excited that we got it. And then we just kept going up, making sure it was level. We just eyeballed it the entire way. Yeah. And we got to the top and it was level and it actually like looked decent. We were, that was the most we bickered though, was tiling, mm -hmm. I think. Okay, so we're in September now. Oh my God. Oh, and I left this clip in here for you guys because I, I would never film myself, but can we admire my hair? Like, what is going on? <laughs> That's why you left it in? Yeah, because like, throughout this entire series, like, you just see us looking like absolute trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's what DIY renovation's yeah. all about. That's what our couch used to look like, by the way. Yeah. But here we go, tiling. So I'd be working, and then I'd come tile for a little bit, and then I'd go work again. Mm -hmm. And you can see how long this process took yeah, as the, the sun went. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. And yeah. more mortar, mixing up the mortar and just wow. tiling it, yeah. And then we didn't have enough. Oh yeah, we ran out of tile. And we're in Joshua Tree, so far from LA where we got this tile. Like two and a half hours from where the oh. tile store was. It was so frustrating. Yeah. Oh, and then after spending three grand on the paint job, we had Michael's mom go back and paint <laughs> the different sections of that front of the house. That was orange. To the right color we wanted. Yeah. And then here is me changing out this light again. And Kristen making fun of my outfit because yeah. I didn't own any shorts at the time, but it was so hot. You guys, Michael used to wear all black and tight jeans like all the time. So this was what we were working with at the time. We tried this light. <laughs> Not this light. <laughs> the best part of DIY is like what? you can try a bunch of different things. <laughs> it's so small. Okay, so then I took this off because it was just temporarily up there. And I had to peel off this layer. As you can see, we were waiting a day or two for the mortar to set on the tile. We hadn't even taken out the spacers yet, but I permanently attached that to the wall. The piping went up and it tilted a little bit. So if you see this, this electricity outlet right here, I had to squeeze that outlet in the metal sheet that you can see going up. I had to squeeze that in with the exhaust vent because that was in the cabinet because that's how they plugged in the range hood. And it's also the doorbell to the house. Yeah, we took it to Instagram. We were like, yeah. does anyone know what this is? Yeah. And so we figured out it was a doorbell transformer. I had to fit this in. And also you'll see my dad geniusly came up with this mount, this box that goes around the top and it covers the offset. It's like a decorative piece. You wouldn't even know yeah. had you not watched our videos. So what here's here's the frame he made. And you've had instructions, instructions for it. And then we just slid this box onto it. This is what you shoved the doorbell thing in. Oh yeah, the doorbell thing is sitting in that, so it's not next to the exhaust vent. Yeah. But yeah, and it worked out perfectly, so. This color is called desert clay, if, you, if you're wondering. I don't by know bear. who, by a bear. Mm -hmm. okay. I love it. All right, back in La Quinta. My, my mom had some friends that were getting rid of agaves, so we got these huge agaves. Aloes, sorry, these huge <laughs> aloes. And we had neighbors that said they wouldn't last, but they've survived. Yeah. They're still kicking. Crushing it. The other plants, not so much, yeah. but these, they survived. Yeah. I think it was because they were mature. Yeah. And these were all the, the other plants that we got Rest gifted to us. Some of them are alive, some of them are dead. <laughs> yeah. So <sighs> September 10th now. And we were working on what? The shelving? This was my sketching out all the shelving for the kitchen. Michael's an artist. I think we finished the tile. We yeah, went and we got, got the tile. tile. We didn't film that. No, because that was just boring us driving to LA. Yeah. I think we literally just went there for these. And we finished the tile. And Why am I excited? Oh, oh we got the blinds. Yep. 
best day ever. Do you remember that? We had to stop tiling because the blind people came. Yes, the blind people came. <laughs> <laughs> We love all people. So yeah, we were so excited when we got these blinds because it started to feel like a home. We got to be able to take the sheets off the windows yeah. and have a little bit of not, I mean, there's not much to have privacy from, but it was just nice. And here it is in, in the other bedrooms. Ugh, I love them. Yeah, we splurged on these. Oh, and then we had a snake in the garage. First encounter with a snake in my entire life. Besides at a zoo. Luckily, it was it was a harmless snake, but we just didn't want it to live in the garage. So, oh, and then ah! after this, it zoomed out and it jumped up into Kristen's car, into the engine. It was, and so we coming had, out. Yeah, there it is, coming out of the engine. Oh my god! And then I finished the stove, the fireplace, and I started on the back of it, I believe. Yep. Yeah, I started doing the white. And then I went and got boards to make the shelves in the kitchen. So we had multiple projects going on at yeah. the same time, you guys. Yeah. Quick greet, what's that for? You'll see. <laughs> I destroyed my hands carrying all that wood for some reason. And then we put up our curtains. This is all in one day, mind you. We'd wake up with the sun, we'd go to bed at like 11 yeah. o'clock. And then here's the next day. I love looking out. We started on the grout, mm -hmm. and while we were doing the grout, my parents came to help us again, and my mom was doing a second coat on the door, and my dad was putting the rest of the butcher block on the kitchen bar above the sink. Oh yeah, he was making the breakfast. The breakfast bar. bar. And then we started grouting, and I was scared to do this. I know, and so was I. So like the tiling, I think, was the most we bickered over because neither yeah. of us knew what we were doing. But once we put the grout in, it started to look better. Right now the grout's dark, but when it dried, it dried lighter. Yeah. Finally, I remember sending a photo to like our sisters and your sister can be your harshest critic. And yeah. they were like, it looks good. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I was terrified to send that photo. Yeah. I'm like, does it look good? I don't know. But the fact that this is straight and not messed up yeah. is like very impressive to me because it was our first time. It was our first time. Oh, and then I had my mom chop down the bush out front of because it was just oh, no. not did not look. Like I wish it. we could have relocated it, but it was too. It was like thorny and the front of the house looks so much nicer there. Yeah. So you can see the breakfast bar my dad's trying to build here out of the scraps we had left of the butcher block from the IKEA countertop, and he crushed it. We then we caulked around the edges of the countertop under the tile. This, this moment, I was it like... barely fit. It barely fit. But it felt like things were finally coming together. And then I was in the backyard working on the shelves and Sanding. Kristen was spray painting and I heard a scream. I think I was almost about to pass out from the fumes and I went outside to get some air and the door slammed on my finger. Oh my God, I've never felt bleeding. that was, kind of pain. Oh. And that looked good. The wind, the gust of wind slammed the door on my hand. Oh yeah, the door closed on your hand. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. it looked gnarly in the moment. It was gushing blood. And that I don't do well with. We wanted open shelving in the kitchen. We couldn't afford to have somebody custom make boxes. We didn't know what or we were doing. Or butcher block. Butcher like... block, something fancy. So I went to Home Depot and I bought the biggest boards I could find. And I have an uncle that does like woodworking. And I called him and I was like, there's some sap on this wood. What would you recommend? And he was like, oh, you're supposed to buy treated lumber, like heated, they heat it in a kiln to kill off bugs and sap and stuff. So he's like, you're gonna have to do it yourself. So I bought a, a paint heat gun. Yeah. And I went over all of the boards and you can see I'm going over the boards and you'll find these pockets of sap. And when the heat goes over the pockets of sap, it crystallizes and hardens it and then you can sand it. I had to do this for all the boards that we used in the kitchen and this took so much longer than I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. My dad was still working on the breakfast bar. He was making a little platform for it to screw into. Cause this used to be the outside window. Yeah, this was the exterior of the house. So you can see the wood trim. And then this is all high heat paint, right? Yeah, all of the paint I did on the fireplace is all high heat paint. It's very hard to find high heat spray paint. You can find it on Amazon, that's look, where I got it. Look at how good that looks. Yeah, now I'm like, it's a little too white for me, but it looks good in in the house. Mm -hmm. And then you did this 
What is this, bracketing? Yeah, we put the brackets into the stud, cut the board to size, and then <laughs> set the board on there and marked where the where to drill the holes to put into the board. We've never and then made. I had to buy this stabilizer thing. It was such a hard process. You were do like, don't this. film me. I was like, don't <laughs> film me. Because I kept messing up. I don't know what I'm doing. I think there's a hole underneath one of our shelves. I patched we, it. Yeah. I patched it. But then I, fin I finally figured out the process and I got it down. One thing that you can do is you can WD-40 on them mm. so you can slide them in easier. Got it. Yeah. And you were going on a bachelor party that weekend, so you wanted to finish the kitchen shelves before you left. I, I remember to be that. Done. Yeah. Mm. Here's me adding GFI outlets to the kitchen. Look at you go. A little electrician. Making sure it works. Yep. They work. <laughs> and then here's my dad making the frame around the window so that you wouldn't see the the trim of, of the, the window, of like the, the metal window. of the window. Yeah. Yeah, he did a great job. Mm -hmm. And then the concrete you saw earlier was because we had this giant hole in the concrete patio in the back. Yeah, and we wanted but to cover or close it in. it in. I didn't want anybody tripping over it. Yeah. There was probably a plant there at one point, but like there wasn't really room for you to put mm -hmm. chairs and stuff. And so. we carved our initials into it. We tried. Mm -hmm. it's it kind of worked. It was like already hard. Yeah. We had an end date. Our goal was to be done by October 22nd. So end of September, I, believe, I got laid off. Well, I believe what date do you think this, yeah, this had this to be right after you got laid off. Yeah, and we were like, it's go time. We needed this. The point of this short-term rental was mm -hmm. if God forbid something like this happened and one of us was out of work or I got pregnant and wanted to be out of work, this would be a supplemental income. Yeah. And boom, it happened in September, end of September. So, so we were on a limited budget. We were like, we got one month to get this thing up. We had, yeah, we, we were like, okay, we, we need to finish all of this construction to get it up in November so that we can start making money on the house so that we don't have to pay the mortgage. That was what we were worried about was that we had just enough money to cover us through the end of the year mm -hmm. because we had been paying for the mortgage on the house and all the utilities out of pocket, but we were also paying for all of the supplies, all of the furniture we had to get. So we were on a limited budget. And so we set this deadline of October 22nd yeah. and you can see how many things were on the board that we had to do. And some of them were small things, mind you, but yeah. we had to get the majority of all of this done and we were going to have friends out. So we had invited friends out for that weekend. We were like, who can come out mm -hmm. this weekend? And, and I did it on purpose because I know that if I do not have people holding me accountable, it's kind of like having a trainer at a gym. Like if we didn't have people holding us accountable, we probably would have been lax on that date and we wouldn't have pushed as hard. Yeah, so we, it was go time. It was, yeah, it was go time at this point. Okay, and then I changed out the outlets to these cool old school push button ones. Love and those. this is when we started to tackle the bathroom. I can't believe we tackled the bathroom this late. Like I know. It feels like it's late. I know. I, <laughs> this was like the first time I had looked under the sink and look at, there's a spigot down there. Surprise! For like water. And we figured out it was for the, they had a swamp cooler on the top of the roof originally. Yeah. So that was the hole in the, in, hallway. in the hallway. What that's what that was for. And then we took this mirror down. This was scary for me, mm -hmm. uh, but everything was fine. And now it's a mirror in our house. But anyway, that's besides the point. So this was yeah. our demo day. The same thing happened here. The old like shut off, water shut off underneath the sink was bad. So you can see down there, I, re I put the faucet from, from the, the kitchen, kitchen sink down below there and closed the handles. So that's just chilling there for like, that chilling there for like a couple of weeks <laughs> while we redid all of this. Yeah, and oh, this was a nightmare. Yeah. I, I remember pulling that out and being like, I, I'm done. When we pulled off that vanity, what happened to the walls? They just started crumbling. Yeah. And it was just like a nightmare. Mm -hmm. As a new homeowner mm -hmm. who knows nothing about drywall or plaster or how to build a home, like I'm literally learning as I go. Yeah. And we both were just... Well, it just... I didn't know where to begin. I think it was because, I think it was like a nightmare because we thought that we would just pull off the vanity, replace the vanity, 
put the new sink in, paint the walls. But once they started crumbling, uh, we had to replace the drywall in All the like bathroom. It. And so that added like a couple, a week onto the process because. We thought it was gonna be easy. I feel like that's yeah. why we left it for last. Yeah. So then you started staining the. We thought about staining the shelves, but we decided against it. So yeah. I sealed them with polyurethane. I did two or three coats. I, I hope this just shows you like, this is in order of when we film things. So like we were doing things on top of things like, well, one thing dried, we would go to the other thing and we'd film it all. So like, that's why this footage is kind of all over the place because we were trying to maximize time. Yeah, and I, starting our vlog channel too, it yeah. wasn't like, we were just showing you as we went. We didn't say like, oh, let's do the kitchen remodel in all yeah. one video, which we totally could do that. Yeah. Uh, because we have all that raw footage if anybody wants to see that. Yeah. Ooh, and then we started landscaping, which was so fun with all of our pups from friends and family. Here you can see the list. Just checking things we're off. We're checking things off. Oh, we started taking the toilet and out too. We had to take the toilet out because look at the floor. Oh my God, the floor was so bad. You put a trash bag under it so you can move it and it smelled really bad. I had never done and that And then before. here's us cutting the walls off and demoing them all. We just closed up shop, closed everything off and demoed everything. Yep. Okay, then my dad helped me with the plumbing. He figured out that it was a, a spigot and water ran all the way up to the roof. So this, we did have a plumber come. I didn't film it, but we had a, a plumber come and cap that off. And then he helped me put up new hardy backer in the, or green, what is this? Water green resistant um, sheet rock in the bathroom. And then we got another light for the kitchen. But? What it wasn't a light. It was just the basket. She just ordered the basket. <laughs> this with... is what we ended up going with though. Yeah. Uh, we did have to buy an actual light bulb or light fixture to go yeah. inside of it. Mm -hmm. But this was from World Market and I'm obsessed with it. I love this thing. So this is when Finn started actually liking being out in the desert. He loved running in the sand. I'll zoom in the sand. Yeah. So cool. We started patching and Getting started on all that. Oh yeah. my God. Oh yeah, I forgot to patch this. Yep. Mm. Oh, and then I spray paint. So like, we let things these are, dry. These are the lights in each bedroom had these light frames and we wanted them gold to match the face plates, the, the electric outlets and the fixtures. So Kristen spray painted those. While I let the bathroom dry. Mm -hmm. So like he said, many projects happening at the same time. Yep. And here's how they look. Oh my God, the and then, reed fence. Yep, this is the reed fence that we still need to replace, but it's done a solid for over a year now. September of 2021, this went up. So now we have it on record, so September. Yep, but we wanted a little bit more privacy from the neighbors over there. Yeah. And then we hired some junk removal people to come and clean up our bathroom renovations and stuff like that. Yeah. It's always weird filming them, so like, yeah, we creepily film. Frame. Oh yeah, we got the right size frame finally, mm -hmm. the king bed. Yay! Yep. And then we put a bed frame. A bed frame. They on have it. like different bed frames. It's not. It's not okay. Old. Then here's me replacing the quarter turn valves that were like mineraled on. This took forever to fix. I'm so proud of you. You learned plumbing, electricity, electricity. It's a good learning experience. Yeah, like you did all of that. I should have probably been right there with you, but I was like painting and stuff. And then I put more outlets in. The outlets in the kitchen looked really bad because they were painted over a bunch. So we put new outlets in the kitchen. And then you'll see here, we put the brass on top as well. Yeah. So that makes sense why we painted those brass. Looks so much nicer. And then we started patching some more, taping. Drywall. Oh man. I know. I'm tired just process. watching this and I'm like, oh my yeah. god, we did so many. Oh, and then we'd go to Moonwind and, and we go started, shopping. I think the this was fun because we started decorating the place. Yeah. Like slowly. Yes. Right? We went to a lot of local thrift shops and there's a shop called Moonwind that we love. And then Black Luck Vintage, if you go to that area, go there. We got this lamp there and a bunch of books. We loved doing all of that. We still love it. We, we need to do more. Anyway, so this is us peeling up the sticky tiles. Yeah. Sticky tiles are the freaking worst. 
And there was some sheetrock on there too, like it, a sticky. It was, it was pretty bad. I had to fix that floor. But anyway, this is our jute rug. We still have this in the house. I'm just cleaning it up. This, this was in our apartment in North Hollywood when we were there. And then this, I was very excited about this because I had bought this skull for a house someday and we this were like finally able to put it up and it like look like right in in the, you know. Yeah, in the space. This was a moment I think we were like, okay, dang, it's happening. Yeah. So it's not right yet, but we were excited to have a couch and it looked right. <laughs> or, you, or you have to put a couple different coats on. They were kind of uneven, so I had to even that out. And then the floors were so messed up that I was like, they need new, it was cement. And so I brought in new, I think this is cement board, so that I could have a level surface yeah. to put the tile on. Um, so here's me cutting up a hole for the toilet opening and cutting it all down. And the, the bathroom was lowered compared to the outside hallway. So using this, doing this brought up the tile to be even all the way through. Yeah, with and the- And then um, Kristen started decorating. Yeah, I was so excited. Went to Home Goods, bad idea. Don't, don't do Home Goods, just for certain things. Uh, but I was excited, so yeah. bought a bunch of pillows. This was kind of our room coming together. The couch mm -hmm. was coming together, everything. Oh, and we found this bench on our property. Yeah. That we ended up putting in front of our house. This was, cool. this was a good find. Mm -hmm. And then I taped this. Oh my gosh. This was so much work. And then you realized you did it wrong. I realized, yeah, you have to put stuff down first and then the tape. <laughs> and then put a layer on top of it and smooth it out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my God. And then we had to, okay, so that orange carpet you saw earlier in the video with Finn laying on it was in this closet. So that yeah. must have been original to the house. And so we extended the tile all the way into the closet. We we're gonna have an open closet and do little box shelves. So excited to put this together. And then we started digging the holes for- Oh yeah, we put our hammocks up. Mm -hmm. I remember being exhausted, but being so excited to put the hammocks up. Like, the, I don't know. Yeah, we started we're... getting to like fun things. Mm -hmm. Putting the house bathroom together. bathroom tile and- <laughs> We were still doing that, but yeah. yeah. Did and then you... we, we actually ended up having to get stronger hooks yeah, because my dad, say, just... my dad laid on it and, and it, and it fell down. Yeah. And so we're very thankful that he did that first before yeah. we had any guests. But here you can see the list. It's, it's getting knocked off, but it's very slowly because we were doing the big things first. And then here you can see the passing of seasons because um, it's time to harvest. It's time to harvest the prickly pears. We made margaritas out of these. We did. Then you put your, your curtains up? I put up. my curtains up. So I had bought some that didn't work before and I found these also on Amazon, I believe. And they're great. They're very whimsical. And this is the light. We got the light fixture and it actually looked so cool. So I think this was, this time. I think in this footage I was saying, okay, we're done with this, right? Yeah, like it's, this is it. Okay, and then we got, this is a secondhand table we got from Michael's parents. And we sanded it down and restained it, and mm -hmm. this ended up being our dining, dining room. room table. Yeah, I think this was really exciting too because, like, we were, were sleeping Slow, in this room. I know. And we didn't have a dining room table. We were eating like on you the know, couch on a folding table. So slowly everything was coming together, and I believe there was a storm coming or something happened. That's why we brought it in. We and had friends and family this weekend, so we made a list for them to do and they could go in, look at the list, and help accomplish it. Check things so out. So our friends Kyle and Nina came back out to help us get some things done. We sat by the fire, and then Kyle helped us make a bench. Two benches. A really cool bench. I didn't get him finishing it because it was so chaotic with everybody there. Yeah, because it was your grandma's birthday and too. Then, and then we put up these posts that we were going to do the shade sale from. Yeah. But. We had our brother-in-law there. Yeah, put up our mirror. This was so fun, getting everything together. Yeah, yeah. that mirror is way too small for that space. Yeah, but what? <laughs> we we like, know. We know. Looking back, it's like, okay. I want you to know, I put the shade sail up, and then you'll see, after we do this, the next day a storm hits the house, and I had to take it down. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, we did some landscaping. Okay, so the, this was the storm was approaching and you can see 
it, the wood on the post bending, you, it does, not really in this video, but I was like, oh shoot. It was swaying. It was swaying. <laughs> we had to go take it down because- Because the haboob was coming. Yeah, so we had a desert storm called Look at us. haboob coming. I had never seen anything like it. It was yeah. a wall of gray. Look at the- Oh my God. Yeah, and it was raining too. It was raining and there was dust flying everywhere. We were like, what is happening? So we had to take the reed fence down. <laughs> So then we were like, okay, hey, what can we do inside? We're going to do our stencil. So we- We bought a projector for $30 at Walmart, projected it on the wall from my computer, and then we just outlined it instead of buying wallpaper. Yeah. Um, this just took time instead of spending, you know, a couple hundred dollars on uh, wallpaper. Dude, I forgot yeah. about that. And then I started on the tile in the bathroom. Oh my God, this tile in the bathroom, the penny tile. We went through three different types of tile, you guys, guys. Guys, I don't know why we had such high aspirations. This was, this is like one of the hardest tiles to lay and in a bathroom because it can get off so easily and it, it's definitely not perfect. No, and to keep it clean and white, yeah. like you see hair all over that. And then Good while the time. tile was getting laid, we got the delivery for, for the, the wood for the fence. <laughs> like there was so much stuff on top of each other. So here's me going out to check the delivery. Oh my and God. And then I went back while the tile was drying and I finished the stencil. Would that say October 14th? October 14th. Yeah, we were in crunch mode at this point. My mom was demoing the closet because we were gonna put up shelving. We hadn't even started on the closet. And it needed to be patched and painted and she like came to do it yep. and it wasn't even patched. And that's how far I got on the tile. Oh my God. And luckily I only messed up on places that were going underneath the vanity. So I got very lucky. Yeah. And I made sure that by the door was perfect. perfect. But here you can see Kristen picking out the, the grout that I put too much grout and it mortar. pops up mortar through the uh, penny tile and Kristen had to go through and pick it out. And then here's her putting in the edge pieces. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was a lot. And then you got this picnic table that we put out back. And then I think we, Ooh, we started- painted that wall. Mm -hmm. We didn't share that part. And then we started grouting. Oh my God, yeah. We started grouting the penny tile and then you can see where I messed up under the sink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but luckily that's hidden. So that's underneath the vanity. You'll never see that. Um, but we st we didn't buy enough grout. Oh yeah, and then we bought the wrong color, or I bought the wrong color, and then you had to go, oh my God, So yeah. you can see where the towels are. We ran out of grout, and for some reason there was discoloration on that left side. So I ran to- La Quinta. I drove an hour to La Quinta to the closest floor and decor to get the right matching grout and then Kristen sanded this while I was gone. Yeah, and I didn't do a good job on it. And then when I got back, we put the light up. Oh yeah! Because I was oh. too tired to grout. It was my dream to get this Joss and Main light and it was like $200 and we just got it. And here's my hands from grouting. Oh yeah, they, they like started, split open. They started to bleed. You guys wear gloves when you grout and tile. It's yeah. real. That stuff messes up your hands. Yeah. Can't be good for you. So I started doing this while you were gone, but I finished the edge of that. Yeah, that there was just way. like chicken But I did wire. this because our friends Kyle and Nina were coming back out to help me build the fence and I wanted to get this done. Yeah. So I did this quickly and I didn't grout it yet, but here they are and Kyle, you saw the wood getting delivered and Kyle helped me build this fence. I'm super grateful. And Nina, Nina's out there yeah, handing you guys the- And, and Kenley. Yep. Look at them go. I was so surprised when I got back. I think I had a wedding to do or work or something. Yeah, I wasn't working. there. And it was crazy how much you guys got done. So you can see, we could see straight into our neighbor's yard. Nothing against it. We just kind of wanted when you're in the backyard of the house for you to be able to feel like you're in your own private space. Luckily the view out the back of the yard is not closed and that's a sunset view. We ran out of wood. I think we ran out of wood. Yeah, because we had to go back and get mm -hmm. more. Yep. And then you and I finished this the next day. Yeah. After they left, we finished we went to this one Lowe's part. and got more wood or mm -hmm. Home Depot. And then, oh my gosh, we got my favorite light in the whole house, besides the basket light, obviously. This is also World Market, the Sedona light. I don't believe they sell it anymore, but we yeah. got rid of the fan that was in there and put that up. And look at this orange felt that was felt orange in felt in the bar yeah we had to cover that up with wood 
yeah anyway we'll get to that i'm sure but yeah finally got the vanity in we brought the vanity in and we realized that the hole for the sink was off <laughs> which is the whole thing but mm -hmm. we were crossing stuff off yep and then started staining this was at like 11 o'clock at night yep we were in crunch mode mm -hmm. and then i started painting yeah you started also painting the 11 o'clock at night like painting everything just getting it done i also orange peeled that room but we didn't yeah. film that part yeah. so here october 19th we had three days until our friends came out and we didn't have a toilet <laughs> installed and my dad and i had never installed a toilet so we tried so many different things yeah it was a lot to do and here Oh yeah, you're grouting. I jumped to grouting because this needed to get done. It's like red Cherokee grout or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Here's the next day. I think my dad yeah, came back sink. out. And then this is where I installed the sink backwards. Oh my God, it's still installed backwards. So we'll have to fix this one day, but it's, <laughs> it's fine for now. The hole should be on the other side. We're like a touch it twice kind of crew. But here you can see how that it's off. off. So I had to come up with a way to get it and <laughs> Oh my God, yeah. yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, so this, it, it's worked. And the left side's lower than the right side, so that's all that matters. It's never leaked. Nope, well, it leaked, it did at first. And then I had to, go, you'll see me go back and fix it. But the water worked. So proud of you. I was just like, he'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so we started putting together the furniture. This, we took a trip down to the uh, OC. The OC to pick up all this furniture that we got. And then I finished up the closet. Um, we put a little, what was that little thing you put in front to make it look like a box? We just put a little board in little front. A little finishing board in yeah. front and then secondhand baskets mm -hmm. and we made the closet. Mm -hmm. And then we put a new fixture in here. And we didn't have light bulbs. So we had to have Michael's mom go to Home Depot and pick up the light bulbs for us because she was coming the next day to help us finish up. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we wouldn't have had light bulbs when people got there for the bathroom. Yep. We put up our new rattan target mirror and then finishing boards on the orange felt you saw. Yeah. I tried sanding it off, it wouldn't come off. So we put finishing boards up, this is some slow-mo for you. And then I painted them a color that's similar to the Sedona light. And this was the bar like pretty much finished for like what we were doing. And then I hung up this light we got from Morocco that one of the bulbs was broken, so we had to wait on that. And then I put up these cool little coat hanger things in the entryway. I think this was also like 11 o'clock or midnight. Yeah. And then the next day my dad came with the bulbs because we couldn't put the toilet in in the dark, so we had to install the light that day. Mm -hmm. And then once we got the light installed, we started with the toilet because I believe this is like the day before. Or the morning of. The, or the morning of. and. Oh my gosh, we watched so many videos trying to get this right. We had to raise the toilet up so that it would be above the tile. This was a whole thing, but luckily my dad and I took our time. And thank, shout out to YouTube because we couldn't have done it without watching a ton of videos on YouTube. But YouTube we University. got the toilet set. It never leaked. Nope, we got the water set up. And I let my friends be the first to try. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a bed protector. This is a waterproof bed protector and like a hundred dollar twin bed at uh, Walmart. Mm -hmm. Just taking a minute. The previous owner had left that outside, so we just kind of decided to use it. And we put lights up. Yeah, we, we put, put some bistro lights mm -hmm. up. Um, brought some chairs out there, and then and then we this were... was the night our friends got there. Can you believe? And we were what? so excited. We like rushed. It was so hard to film, but we did everything pretty much on that list. Yeah. And then I had an amazing time with my friends to do. We wanted to actually like experience the house pretty much done what it was like to hang out with friends there, sleep there, shower, eat, cook, clean, do all the things. Because after the experience with my friends, I was like, give me notes, give us all of the notes and then we could fix it. Yeah. But yeah, here's me enjoying the bar. And then I took my friend Daniel with me to the middle of nowhere in 29 Palms to pick up a piano. It was like our dream to get a piano in the house. Mm -hmm. I needed two big guys to help me with it, so I waited till my friends were there. And there it is! Ah. Yeah. And then here's our new list after yeah, our after friends After they stayed. left, we made a new list. And I realized that I had plumbed the drain wrong in the bathroom, so I had to go through. I did not put caulking or 
taping or, or anything. anything so it was leaking and so I went back and I did it right. Your short-term rental permit application has been approved and permit has been issued. Yes! Ah! That was after calling the city and harassing them about where our yeah. permit was. So we made another bench. Polyurethane, Polyurethane. everything. Polyurethane's my friend, mm -hmm. my BFF. And then this is October 26th. We put a little solar security lights on the outside of the house because we didn't want it to be too dark. I gave the tub a real good scrub. I got, oh my God, that hard water. It does not look like that anymore. Uh, I used vinegar and just let it soak on there for like hours, mm -hmm. like two to three hours. Cause we couldn't afford, we didn't have time to replace the- Everything in the bathroom. Yeah. So eventually we're going to get new fixtures. Fixtures, what do you call that? Yeah. I did it you like did three it a or four times. times. Yeah, and it worked like a charm. Okay, and then we went and we noticed that when my friends were there, there weren't enough places to sit comfortably. So we got this extra chair that matched the couch and we needed a place to put things in the bathroom. So we got this hanging shelf. Yeah, from Amazon. From Amazon. And then... I took a break, I did a rave. <laughs> and we got, what were these? We got oh. a bunch of stuff from... Our mat. Yeah. Rest and then feet. we tried using this shower curtain. Didn't like love I said, it. this is the best part about it, is you can try things and if you don't like them, you don't have to use them. These we love, these are from Lilla. Lilla lifestyle, I believe. Lilla. But this is when we started really decorating and adding like mm -hmm. little things to the house. Yeah. That weren't there. Like you can see the books on the shelves now. You can see like we added these pots Coffee or whatever it was. And... You added these right there. I actually, I actually really like stuff on the bar. Oh, our poofs. So we got these on Etsy. They blew out eventually. They're vintage from the 80s. And then we put in the kitchen table. This was from our apartment our first place together and started caulking the shower tub, just doing finishing things. Yeah, at this point we were like, we need to get this done. How fast can we get it up on Airbnb? Yeah. Because by that point we had our permit, we were ready to go. The only thing that was missing was putting the listing up online, take, being able to take photos and yeah. getting, you know, to have our first guest. So here's us putting in the finishing touches, like the towel racks and everything. I don't know why I felt like we needed to have a walkway into the house. This was unnecessary. This was unnecessary. But. I kind of wanted to do it though. Yeah, the pavers are nice. You you did a really good job. Everybody parks in the driveway. And we've, no one uses we've learned the pavers. Now. Yeah, nobody uses the pavers, but it's okay. <laughs> and, and then, so on top of this, we wanted to clean up the outside and make it look nice too. So like while I was doing this, Kristen was cleaning up like there was a lot of debris under these bushes and stuff. Yeah, over the summer, everything like dies. So I was cleaning that up. Set up some lounge chairs. Put the rocks around the yuccas. Yeah. Cleaned up the front. Yeah, we wanted it to be nice for our first guests and we wanted to open up the backyard because when my friends were there, we realized that we wanted to be able to walk out to the land. So that's what we did here. We knocked down the metal fence that was originally there and then we put some light bulbs in here. Yeah, the bistro lights make it more magical at night. Yeah. I love it. And we filled these, and this is where I think we messed up. I think we filled them too tight, too much, and they started bursting at the seams. Oh, uh, that's probably what it was when people yeah, sit see on that? them. Yeah. And then we got some pillows from Moonwind and beautiful macrame we got from Moonwind Trading Co. At this point, we were just doing little things to get the house like ready. See, we change out the shower curtain mm, yeah. to be a more neutral white. And I started taking photos. Oh, this that's was what this before was for. we had professional photos. We just needed to get the house up. I'm a decent photographer. So you can see we kind of came quite a ways from where we started. We were missing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a placemat. This is a placemat that we used as artwork until we got a third. No one said plate. anything. No one noticed. No one said anything. So. Yeah, we got a third plate eventually. But yeah, yeah we, we finished it up and Michael took all the photos and this was our listing. You can't go anywhere without photos on Airbnb. Yeah. Like you have to have photos before. So I think we put it up on Airbnb. We bought a smart lock and we went the Halo quick set lock. It's done pretty well. Mm -hmm. If you buy good batteries for it, it lasts yeah. a couple months. You can see the bathroom here. Uh -huh. We did a pop of color. Yes. I wanted a little bit of yellow in there. And then we uh, got some real fun wow. You really like this artist, real fun wow. We got some art from them and put that up in the bathroom and 
Finn loved laying on the bed. And then <laughs> and we were cleaning and we noticed that there was water on the tile. And so we realized that the pipes were leaking in the bathroom. Yeah. And so we had to cut open the wall. This was like a day or two before our first guest. There was a pinhole leak in the pipe. We had to call a professional and they came and patched it up for us. But then I had to repatch the drywall. Oh my but God. if you know anything about drywall repair, once you put this in, you have to retape it and it, you have to let it dry overnight. And so we were literally out. driving back and forth every day, taping it. Because so, we didn't want to dirty the house. Yeah. We'd clean the house. It was ready for our first guest. Besides this one part, we put a fan on it. I had to tune the piano. We just stayed because we were like, whatever. Look yeah. how much our, our mother's tongue's grown. It was so short back then, Yeah, our plants. The artwork finally came in for the kitchen. This is more real fun wow. We framed it, we got custom frames. So this is when we were like done, done with the house. Pompous is still there. This is the we moment. We were so excited to have it Ready all and up. done. I'm tired, I just yawned. I'm tired watching this. This is yeah. a lot. So this is after our first guest stayed. We went and we cleaned, yes. So yeah, for the first three months, we were the cleaners because we wanted to do it ourselves and know what it was like, what it entailed. So when we hired cleaners, we knew what to tell them. We would get eucalyptus and put it in the shower. It smelled amazing and it was like a spa, but it it's, was not sustainable. You had to change it out every week or two it, and it was just not it right. It wasn't right. So here's our first time going into the house after our guests. And we were like curious to see what had happened. They had like moved the guitar, but they left the house in great shape. Yeah, very, very thankful. Yeah. yeah everything is fine. And here's us cleaning it for the first time. Which you've probably seen a million times on our channel by yeah. now. Okay. We had to borrow a vacuum from oh my, my mom. We didn't even have a vacuum we didn't have yet. A vacuum, like. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. And here's a little walkthrough tour of the house when it's done. Yes. This was our first reveal of the house post renovations. Yeah, so this is what it looks like as of like December of 2021. Yeah. And it looked like this for six months or so. We've done some updates to it since then. If you've been watching our channel, you've seen us do it. But we wanted to show you this because this is everything that we did to the Airbnb to get it ready to rent out. This by no means is the grand vision of how we want it to be, but I think we did a pretty good job for the budget that we had. And then doing it in a little over three months. And then we rented our first guest in November, of November 21st. So it took us four months to do all this renovation. Yeah. Look at the concrete floors, the baseboards, the AC units, the placemat on the, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> But like we still have an extra bathroom and bedroom we have locked off. Revenue over ready was what short term university, short term rental university yeah. told us. I mean, you can see it's not bad for it being original. Here's the landscaping that we did. We added a oh, little yeah. walk path. We the walk path. Some pillows that look like it's not even full at all. Like it's so sparse. <laughs> Like I said, we were doing what we could to get the house up and running. Yeah. And I oh, yeah, think, our barbecue. I think at this point we were like really excited because we were like, we did it. We couldn't believe it. And we were super excited. Since the end of this video, there's been a year of guests now, things we've done. We've redecorated the main bedroom. We've added a cowboy pool outside. Yeah. We're in the process of doing so much more stuff to the house that we want to. So. If you enjoyed watching us DIY this entire house, we have a lot more coming. Yeah. And we wanted to do this because, you know, we have a lot of people watching our channel now because of the Airbnb content we've been posting. But we also wanted to kind of showcase, we put a lot of work into the house. We saved a lot of money doing this ourselves too. Yeah. So it's doable. If you want to do it, you can. But this shows you how hard it was. <laughs> to do it yourself. <laughs> to do it yourself. Yeah. A lot of blood, sweat, tears. And bickering, but yeah. the, you really get to know your spouse. So thank you so much for watching probably our longest video yet, but yeah. we wanted to get you guys up to speed with where we're at and can't wait to show you where we're going. We are actually going to pack up and head out from LA to go to the house now because tomorrow we have something really exciting happening and uh, cannot wait to film that for you guys. Thanks for watching, and if you like this kind of podcasty style of us talking through 
let us know. Maybe we'll do another one of the year since this was all filmed.